Hey guys, uh, I'm Ethan Moore from Stockroom Supply. Um, a question that I get almost weekly from people looking to start a small woodworking business is whether they should invest in a laser cutter or a CNC machine. Um, Price-wise, they are somewhat similar. CNCs are a little bit less generally, uh, but they're kind of in the same ballpark. So um, one way I like to explain it um, is a laser cutter. Pretty much you're gonna be doing with a laser cutter what you can do with a scroll saw and a wood burning pen. This isn't a wood burning pen, but it kind of looked like one, so that's why I have it here. So a wood burning pen and a scroll saw where you can do some delicate cutting through of materials, not as thick as you can with a scroll saw, but then you can also do some wood burning engraving here with it. Now a CNC router, it's more like what you're able to do combination of a standalone router and a wood carving set. Um, so it can kind of handle both where it can do your engraving and cutting and Carving all those sorts of things. So yeah um, Basically the way a laser works we'll go back to the laser. It uses a concentrated beam of light um, to cut through material um, So that means it's a little bit limited by how thick of material you can cut through so that right there is eighth inch Baltic birch the real limit of this machine, which is about a 90 watt you could do a little over quarter inch if you want a quarter inch comfortably um, and then you got the engraving here which is the other really cool aspect of it so to engrave basically it's just a reduction of the power of the laser beam and that's what allows you to engrave things um, the other thing so this would be yeah this is just an example of a project you can do with a laser here this is something that my wife um, her business that she she has a farmhouse five and eight that is something that she would make. That would be a little bit of a name, a name sign there. Now this is a product that we make with the laser. This is a scroll clip. You guys might be familiar with this goes on actually this scroll saw right here and uh, it just makes for easier blade changes. But that's made of Delrin, which is one of those materials that cut out really nicely with the laser. Not every material cuts with a laser, so you gotta be very careful. Um, but acrylic would be one of the materials, that clear plastic it cuts extremely well with a laser where pretty much everything else when we're talking about cutting through something a cnc would do a better job um so cnc yes you've got a router bit in that router this is a spindle on mine here but a lot of them would have a router instead same sort of router bit so you can put pretty much any shape or design or size router bit you can imagine inside that and the computer will move it around now this is another example of a project that my wife would make here. This is a a, uh, a toy for sorting. So we've got a round nose bit that has engraved these parts right here and then a standard um, spiral just to cut out the outside here. Now the beauty of a CNC router like this is the versatility of it. Because you have so many options for bits and because that bit can be big or small um, you can cut through almost anything you can imagine up to a point. Um, so where the CNC is limited, you got the Z axis, which is the up and down. Basically half the Z axis minus half an inch is the capacity or the thickness you can cut. So this is five inches, two and a half minus half an inch. So I would be able to cut approximately two and a half inches thick with that machine right there which is significantly thicker than anything that laser would ever be able or capable of. Um, so then this is a project that we make with, um, with the digital wood carver, the CNC machine here, where we cut through this plastic right here, we pocket it and engrave through it, and then we do the engraving of all the letters. This is a simple circle cutter, so this is a bandsaw jig that you guys may be familiar with already. Um, and then the last thing I'll show you here is this. Again, another thing that my wife would make. This is an example of something that really you could use a CNC to make or a laser. There is a lot of overlap with what you can do. Um, now the laser cutter would not be able to cut this round circle. You'd have to do that with something else. But would definitely be able to handle those, those words on here. Where the CNC machine could do both. Um, so the one final thought I'll leave you with, 
uh, with this engraving right here. There are attachments for that machine right there. A laser attachment. It's a 9 watt laser. That laser will not cut through anything, but it will allow you to do the engraving exactly what this one is doing right there. Um, so you do have the ability with some extra attachments to do some of that wood burning with the CNC, but not I guess right off the bat, you do have to get some special attachments. So, what am I missing here? Price-wise, they're I, similar. CNCs are a little bit less expensive um, than lasers generally, but kind of in the same ballpark. What were you going to say there, Kate? The one thing about the clamping oh, and yes. the knot. The other really cool thing about a laser is if we look on the inside here, you get this honeycomb uh, board on the bottom, but basically you put your wood down. No clamping required. The beam, the laser will just go along and cut or engrave whatever you want. It will make a ton of smoke. A ton of smoke. So you got to make sure that this laser is able to vent outside. Uh, most will come with a fan. This one comes with a fan that will vent it right outside for you. But you got to put a hole in the wall or a door in order for it to do that. Just like your dryer. If you don't do that, you're going to be setting off smoke alarms um, all day long. For this guy, it doesn't make smoke, but it makes sawdust and chips. Um, so you are going to want a dust collector of some kind to suck up those chips. But then also, you do need to clamp your material down because of the side pressure of that router moving back and forth. If you are doing a lot of the same thing over and over, you can see I've made a jig here. That just makes it a lot easier for us to do. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty well it. Um, hopefully that helps in some of your decisions, whether you want to go laser route, CNC route. Neither is a bad choice, but they do, while they do have some overlap, they do have some pros and cons of each machine. So yeah, if anybody else has any questions, you can email me at info at stockroomsupply.com or just comment on the video. Now, if you want to see future videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell button. Thanks for watching.